Hello? What's up, girl? What happened after Tony dumped you? Girl, I'm over it. I went from heartbreak to hate. Hey, 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 hey. Oi, Joy. Oi, Bob. Oi. Lies! Lies. We are talking lies, about lies. Lies, 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 lies. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing, kids. I've been told some amazing lies here recently. Yeah. And uh, we're going to build to that, okay? Put a pin in it. We'll come back to it. So I've been told some amazing lies. So I said to Bob, hey, what if we did a whole show just about lies? Because you know what gay horses eat, right? Hey. hey. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're doing yeah. lies. <laughs> What lies beneath? Yeah, I mean, and it's it, it's a good movie. It's a g- <laughs> it is. Is it? I don't remember that one. It's mm-hmm. Michelle Pfeiffer and Harrison Ford. Well, I mean, I, I'm on board with both of them. Yeah, I probably even it's saw a it. Thriller, more so. I just don't really remember. But anyways, anyway, um, yeah, because everybody lies. Right? We tell white lies. Well, apparently all. not. I mean, you asked some people and they were like, I don't know. Well, they were just said they just couldn't remember. I was. I was asking for like more like amazing stories. Could we try to like <laughs> go on the streets, get what people <laughs> want to hear from us, mm-hmm. people yeah. think, and like, you know, it's not always fun to rehash our lives, if you remember last <laughs> week's episode. I don't want I your don't want life. Your life. Anyway, so... <laughs> We don't want your lies, so we're going to talk about lies that people tell themselves, Mm -hmm. and lies that have been told to us, and lies that we've told other people. Yes, because there's like your basic innocent lie, right? Like you're not really hurting anybody. Um, I'll give you a good example of one that I've done. Okay, innocent lie. Innocent lie. Like when I was probably 12 or 13, I think, you know, had this friend who I will rename Shonda. And um, we used to go back and forth to each other's houses and things like that, hang out. And uh, she, I did, this particular day, I just did not want to go over because she was such the alpha between the two of us. Mm-hmm. She talk, 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 talk. It was always about her. Mm-hmm. I was not feeling it. So, you know, she's like, please just, just really ask your mom, just beg her, you know, if you can come over. And I was like, all right, all right. So I go in the room and, you know, on my landline, drag the cord out. <laughs> and I'm, I'm staring at my mom and I'm holding the phone up to my ear, right? And I go, right. I go, Mom, can I please go over to Shonda's house? And I'm shaking my head no at the same time as I'm asking her. And she was like, no, you can't go over there. And I was like, please. She was like, no. And I was like, oh. and then I go back and I was like, my mom won't let me, blah, 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 blah. And then I got off the phone, and I was like, thank you, mom. She was like, mm. <laughs> So now, now, I like that you said this was an innocent lie. I feel it is. But here's the deal. <laughs> Corruption of your mother's soul. <laughs> oh, wow. Now we're going to take it there, huh? Well, I mean. I corrupted my mother's soul. You, you made your mother lie for you. <sighs> Listen, she was happy to do it. She didn't want to drive me anywhere. Her feelings were not hurt. Trust okay. and believe. <laughs> so that's a little, that's an example of a good little lie. A little, a little lie. lie. You a lie to people. Lie. Everyone says that something happened, you know, like, I don't know, maybe you had like a hookup planned and then mm-hmm. you decided to go to lunch with somebody else. So you're mm-hmm. like, oh, I can't do it because my friend fell on the stairs <laughs> and I got to go to the hospital. <laughs> You know, extreme <laughs> lies. But <laughs> everyone lies to somebody. Everybody does. The I reason why you're late, like... Yeah, you, know. you got to make those things ex- more extreme, right? Like, I guess sometimes, yeah, you do. Because it's like, you know, you can't there just There was say, a car crash with five I cars left, in front of me. <laughs> I left eight minutes later than I normally do. That's why I'm <laughs> eight minutes late. No, you don't tell that. That's too much truth. Yeah, and what kind of fun would that be? I guess no fun. <laughs> Oh. So, what about a good, innocent, quick lie that you maybe you've told? You um, I deal in complexity in lies. Oh, okay. Um, so we'll get to yours I have later. some later that <laughs> involve insurance fraud, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, um, I think the statute of limitations has run out on it. I think I'll, I think I'll be okay. Okay. But... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I used to tell little lies all the time. I don't know. I was more of a, uh, not necessarily a liar, but a person who could coerce others into a situation 
that would then make it look like it was their idea or their what they wanted mm. and therefore it's sort of a lie okay because okay. then i would sit in and in, innocently back like really like i would make my uh. sister want a toy at the equal price of something i want to mm. get her enraged she would cry and throw a oh. fit and then i would look like the good kid so you're an instigator instigator corrupter yeah. anything yeah, to do yeah. with satan is basically <laughs> me and this is, I mean, this is G.I. Joe age. This is a long time ago. This is 30 plus <laughs> this years ago. This evil mind at work at an early age. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. More lies. More lies. So I do, we did get one story that was submitted because I asked oh, yeah. many people. Mm -hmm. um, and one of my friends told me that when she was younger, she had somebody else's ID trying to get into a bar, right? right? And she had memorized the date and the whole deal <laughs> and hands it to the bouncer. The bouncer goes, what's your Zodiac sign? And she just guessed one. Just like and faltered and then guessed, and he was like, incorrect, ma'am. And I was like, why didn't you say you didn't believe in the Zodiac or something like that? So he just, fortunately, he just handed her the ID and let her go. Because, you know, sometimes right. you can get into trouble if they really yeah. want to push it. You oh, can yeah. get the, the can underage cops, ticket yeah. and the whole deal. But that, I mean, that's the thing, though. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good uh, bust, I think, of mm -hmm. a person. Because... You know, you may not be into the Zodiac, but you do know your Zodiac sign. That's true. And if you're not really into astrological signs, you don't really know where the other ones end or begin because you only know yours. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people don't even know. A lot of people think their astrological sign starts at the beginning of that month and ends at the beginning of that month. Yeah, they don't so know the days. They don't know the days. So some people think that, you know, I'm a Taurus because I'm May 1st, but no, Taurus done started 10 plus days ago. Mm -hmm. So I don't think... Yeah. But there are those people, those freaky people out there who, like, if you just tell them your birth date, they're like, oh, you're an X, Y, Z thing. And I'm like, how do you, why do you have all of those memorized? Because those people also lie. Because those <laughs> are the people who tell you that, oh, it's because you're a Capricorn that you are blah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. I am going to say, though, that I've, I hear that less these days. Probably in the last 15, 20 years. I don't, oh, you're rolling your eyes like that's not a changing for you no, but i feel me. like when i was younger i used to hear people say things like oh you're because you're a sad you, you're this why the blah 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 but that's because they used to sell those little scrolls at the gra gas yes. at the grocery store on checkouts that you could yes. get your astrological what's oh, going to happen to you the next month mm -hmm. and those stupid little scrolls yes. that my mom would read i mean she went to a psychic and the psychic told her that i would kill myself at 16 and oh, blah, blah 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 it was a lip reading too which was kind of cool she like read the lines in my mom's lip. But oh. you know what? Bitch, that I'm sounds, a ghost. I was Bitch, that sounds, I'm a ghost. That Bitch, sounds like I'm a, a lie. It sounds yeah. like lip reading is a I lie. I didn't kill myself at 16. I don't think they even tried that year. So <laughs> there were other years that I did. But not that year. It was a good year. Okay. I'm a license and drove around. All right. Lie. Oh, I had lies about that too. But go <laughs> on. You have another lie. I do. No, so then this is where the lies start to level up. These are her lies. This is my lie. Showing how horrible of a human being she really is. That's right. Because I'm not a benevolent person. You're not a benevolent person. We're going to we're gonna find out more about that next yes. week in our bonus episode. So anyways, um, yes. So I used to wear glasses before the LASIK. Shout out to LASIK. If you'd like to sponsor us. Um, you don't is have LASIK to shout out to them. I mean, you know those commercials earlier. Like, I know. That's, that's right. Really They've got their own shit. But anyways, yeah. amazing, amazing, amazing money. But anyways. Um, yes. So used to could not see blind bitch. And I was I had left my glasses on my bed, taken a lovely shower, get out, sit down, wrapped in the towel still, mm -hmm. and I hear a crunch. <gasps> And I have, because you know, back in the day, them things were flimsy, like the little wire rimmed ones. Oh, yeah. That were supposed to be so cute. Oh, them bitches cracked in the center. And, you know, I was young enough to still where I could have got my ass beat. And I was, I was certainly not going to take that Because that's ass. money. That ain't, that's, that, that's they don't money. care if you can't see anymore. Oh, yeah. They care to put oh. money into it. Because mm -hmm. then it's child single mom, abuse are you, if they don't get you your glasses again. With a single mom? Are you kidding me? So. I might have told my mom that my brother broke them. So and of course, he denied it all, but my brother was always getting in trouble for things, and he was known to be a liar, so he didn't get believed. <gasps> that was bad. That was, and I did end up telling her when we were grown, and he was like, see, and I had told you, and I was like, 
I was like, sorry, you just had to take, because he definitely got his thinking over that. Yeah, sorry. Oh, wow. Sorry, I'm brother. surprised he even talks to you today. Sorry, brother. I love you. I mean, I feel like he's done worse things to you yeah. over the years, but still. Yeah, so that's not the point. Right. He, he was upset <laughs> when he found out that I, he was like, oh, it's him, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, well, so that, that did, that was a more effective, or like a, a bigger lie, because, mm -hmm. you know, his ass was on the line, um, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. You're hardcore, Joy. I, they, hey, the first one wasn't that bad. The first one wasn't bad, although it corrupted someone. And the second one wasn't bad, although it caused some else physical abuse. Well, I did say the second one was bad. I'm just Oh, saying. okay. You're ridiculous. So as I sit over here, not silently judging you. <laughs> right, just very verbally. Verbally judging you on my... Mount Olympus mm -hmm. of ego. Yeah. I'll tell you of a time that I lied to my mother. Okay. So when I was 18 years old, I was going to go to college, shockingly, to all my family members because I did, wasn't a great student and I hated school. But I decided I wanted to go to college and try because I would have been one of the first few people in my family to actually go to college mm -hmm. and get a degree. So, mm, you know, you feel like the, those things you have to do. Yeah. So um, I got a car mm -hmm. because up until that point, I had this hand-me-down horrible car called pop -O Spectrum. It took like 10 to 15 minutes to go get to 30 miles per hour. It was a horrible car. Anyway, wow. so my grandmother and mother decided that I needed to have an actual car because where I lived, driving to college was an hour away. So it was an hour commute mm, wow. to the community college because we all knew I couldn't make it into a four-year because I was stupid. And so anyway, beyond that. So I've had this car now for a good two months. And two months might be a lot. This might even be a month and a half. And so I'm out at one of my friend's house in the country where I, out where I used to live. And um, my sister's friend, my sister would have been 13 at the time, was there. We were friends with sisters. Mm -hmm. So her sister was the same age as my friend Miranda was around my age, and Monica around my age, and her little sister was my sister's age. So we all hung out together. Um, so it was just me and Melissa. Shout out to Melissa. Hey, Mel, man, what's up? And so this 13-year-old girl and I were outside shooting things, as you do in the country. Mm -hmm with a BB gun, <laughs> okay. and at this time in my life, I, um, I hadn't lived like I wanted to live, mm -hmm. so I decided that I would take dares from anybody and mm -mm. do the things most daring. So this 13-year-old girl dared me to shoot my brand new car <sighs> with a BB gun. Uh, okay, and you were like, sure. And I was like, yes. And shot out the back window of my brand new car. Oh. Um, laughed. Oh my God. Like, I don't think I've ever laughed that hard in my entire life. Like, I could literally feel like my balls jumping up in my body because I was <laughs> laughing so hard and I almost pissed myself. And <laughs> she was on the ground laughing. Like, we couldn't stop laughing. And then we had a moment of, this is not good. Right. So I was like, I gotta fucking go. So, like, jump in my car, peel off in the gravel flying down a gravel road as I would have done and um, I was like gravel is the key <laughs> so I slam on my brakes <laughs> okay. get my car all dusty and musty uh -huh. run out behind my car grab a, a couple rocks and throw the rocks through the part of the glass that has not shattered uh, okay insurance fraud <laughs> and so then <laughs> I drive home, still laughing. It's like a probably 10, 15 minute drive because I live deep in the country. And so I get, to, I'm like getting to my, my house and I'm like, I got to like get this cry on. I've got yeah. to get this like, I'm so emotional. I couldn't handle, like it scared me. You know, I'm an emotional wreck. This, what da, 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 da. So I go inside. My mom's in the basement doing laundry. I'm just, Ma! Down the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> She's like, what? What? You know, what's going on? And I was like, I was at a stop sign, and this truck sped gravel through the back window, and it shattered the back window, and it scared me so bad. And <laughs> a new car, and, blah, blah, and just like, 
And just, and the award goes to... Absolutely. <laughs> because, like, five minutes later, I was literally playing my uh, Super Nintendo and not even have a care in the world. Uh. Because she called the insurance company, and they were like, oh, yes, we'll cover that, because that's a non-incident situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was 25 oh. years ago. Okay. Meanwhile, I was just a bad person a minute ago. <laughs> You're over here committing insurance fraud. <laughs> oh. Let's see how it is. I, I got 25 you. years ago. Statute of limitations. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> I won't name the insurance company or the, the model of my car. Please don't do any of those things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you think I'm a horrible person and you work for an insurance company, sorry. So I'm going to take a... Let's go to the side. Let's let's stay on lying, but let's just kind of scooch over a, a few lie. feet to the right, because I feel there is this um, hidden life of lies, which oh. is called the half truth. Is it is it the, is that is that <laughs> a television show? The hidden life of lies. I don't know. It sounds like it's like three different Netflix series <laughs> rolled into one I was title. I was gonna say it sounds like the kind of thing that would be on MTV when they were doing shows. Oh yeah. But um. Yeah, so the half truth. Right. Um, I'm going to keep the guilty um, nameless for this episode, but <coughs> if you've listened to your past episodes, you'll configure who I'm talking about. But anyways, I used to know a guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> was really into only telling people what they need to know, also known as a half truth. Right. right? Um, which a lot of people, so let me just start here. Do you think the half truths are lies? Let's start there because that's controversial. Some people believe, some people don't. Well, I mean, because that's, it, it's like, it's like the candy man. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about someone who brings you candy. I'm talking about the hooked handed killer who comes to your I mirror. figured you were talking about the right. hooker. Yeah. Okay. So, so do you believe in the candy man? Mm-hmm. You do? No. Okay. <laughs> didn't think you did. Sorry. No. <laughs> so the candy man is either a lie mm-hmm. or the truth. He either exists or he doesn't exist. True. There's yeah, no possible okay. middle ground. Right, right. So you know in my head, mm-hmm. I'm a very black and white black person. Black and white person. So anything that's not the truth in which I try to live in is, is a, lie. a lie. Yeah. But now there are people who would say, and in fact, this person that I knew <coughs> would be like, it's not a lie. I just didn't you s- omitted tell facts. you. I just, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know how to explain it so that it can make sense. And, you know, both can exist in your mind. Because I feel like everybody has... She looks like she's milking a cow right now. I don't know <laughs> what that means. My hands are, like, trying to, she's like... She's definitely <laughs> pulling on a teat. <laughs> Multiple I'm pulling teats. on the te- imaginary teats that have the answers. No, because I'm, like, trying to explain it in a way where I feel... Hindu, people <laughs> People would... I can't with the, I just put my hands down. I can't even <laughs> express an idea with hands. So my hands right. are now well, down. Well, you know I speak fluent <laughs> ASL. <laughs> Yes. So, as as let's focus on the thing. So, because I feel like most people have it in their mind one way or the other, right? Right. You're either like, oh, no, it's absolutely not a lie, mm-hmm. or you're like, it's a lie. Yeah, well, and then they had that whole thing, well, it didn't hurt anybody, so it's not a lie. Mm-hmm. But, no, so I'm trying to explain the mindset of somebody who thinks that it's not a lie. So, a wrong mind. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> And that's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> you use that kind of language to explain something so that somebody else could, like, really examine the idea for themselves. But no, seriously. Um, I guess what I'm saying is, in somebody else's mind, I've heard this ex- ex- explanation. I did tell you the truth. I just left some things out, or I didn't say the whole thing. You know what I mean? Right. Like, there's just more to it. But that part I didn't feel was essential, so I gave you the piece that you needed. Like... Yeah, I've been arrested before. That's a truth. Uh huh. But that's a half truth because they don't tell you for manslaughter. Right, right. And you're thinking maybe they maybe just got just arrested a, for whatever, you know fighting. Yeah, or, yeah you know, then, in a bar. Yeah, yeah they're too young to have spent some time in jail. But you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Yeah, so, and then, and of course with that, like you said, there's. there's you, well, indirectly, we're saying there's levels to half truths. There can be the I got arrested, so you told the truth, but you didn't say what for, right. and like give the full impact. And then there's kind of the, um, you know, uh, I'm not sure if I can make it in type mm-hmm. of thing, which is like it sounds like you're saying you're ill, but you're just 
you're like, no, in my spirit, I just don't see my spirit walking in the door today. So. Right. <laughs> well, I don't know. Is that a half truth though? It's a. Uh, I I know somebody who does that wordplay where it's like try to you 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 put the words together where it's yeah. really kind of a lie because somebody's going to interpret it one way, okay. but they'll tell you if you re-examine the words that they use that it's not, it's not a, lie. a lie. You know what I mean? So it's a tricky one. And maybe I didn't word it correctly, but the person I used to know would have like oh they would have had the perfect words that you would have interpreted in your mind as you're ill or right. whatever. But that's not what they said. Exactly. You okay. see what I'm saying? Sort Maybe I'm not of. the best at it. I, I'm not here to judge you. <laughs> that's a lie. So, I'm just going to say it's a lie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think, I think most people that I know and myself, I, it's I, devious. I'll at least, there's I, that, I'll, there's I'll give there's you that. that. It's there's devious. That. So yeah, because I mean, there was a time that I don't want to get a more insurance broad, <laughs> but I hit a pothole in my mom's car, uh-huh. driving thirty miles. We all know I lived in the smallest place ever, so I had to drive thirty miles to get my comic books once a month. <laughs> so I drove there to get my comic books, and I uh, hit a pothole. Mm-hmm. And it hit the car so hard that me and my sister thought something was wrong. And so we went to the mechanic shop, and the mechanic shop says, yeah, there's, something's wrong with your alignment. I would really get that fixed. Obviously, he's going to say that, right? In my head, I'm like, right. we shouldn't have come here because this motherfucker's just going to try to get me right. and take money from me. Anyway, so I went home and told my mom that I hit this pothole. And she was like, what the fuck? It's a pothole. Calm down. And I didn't tell her I was doing 55 in the city. Uh-huh. Yeah. Left that part out. I left that part out. A little devious. And then every time from that point on, we had that car for like a year after that. My mom would drive. My mom drove so fast. She's a fast driver. Me and my sister, every time we would take a curve mm-hmm. road doing like 80 miles per hour, <laughs> oh we just no. felt that that, a- that tire the axle was going to snap. And then we just look at each other like, whatever is going to keep this <laughs> wheel on, please just let it stay on. Because, <laughs> which my mom would have forgot that we even had that pothole situation. But... Me and my sister both knew mm-hmm. because of what that mechanic said. <clears throat> tried to scare kids yeah. that that tire was going to fly off. But So there was lots of lies in that conversation. Mm-hmm. But it's just kind of intriguing because it's like, uh, you know, when you, when you are dealing with somebody who tells half stories, mm-hmm. you learn yourself to speak in that language. And so there was a time when, when I was very good at it. And be like, oh, I can craft this. Hold on. Just give me, like, because it, it takes a little work in your mind, right? You got to get the wording right. <laughs> you got to figure it out. <clears throat> but I'd be like, okay, when I'm going to speak to this person, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, we're going to, that, that's the game we're playing. Done. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, we both know liars. Mm-hmm. We both know, like, people who almost lie compulsively mm, just breathing. without. Yeah. Any kind of um, remorse or, mm-hmm. like, almost to the point that it could possibly be a, a, an issue with them. They might need to see, see, somebody. see somebody about it. Mm-hmm. But the thing about those people, and this is evil, but the thing about those people are, you can fucking lie to them so much <laughs> and so easy. <laughs> because they're not going to question <laughs> that you lie. Right. Because they lie so much. They, they can't draw. Yeah. And you don't put them out in their face. You don't throw it back into the, mm-hmm. at them. So they can never really call, you, really call yeah. you out on any kind of lies that you have. Yeah. And now, do we want to discuss the escalated lies? Yes, let's get into I would like to give my first escalated lie. Okay. I have two. Ooh. Two big ones. The first one. Mm-hmm. I was the lesser of the two. <clears throat> so I was speaking to a gentleman. And uh, that is a male human. (laughs) And I'm pretending a nice one. But anyways, speaking to this male human Mm -hmm. who was, you know, obviously trying to talk to me, trying for like romantic purposes. Right. Talking back and forth, blah, blah, blah. And um, at first, you know, like like anything else, like, oh, what are you doing? This and that and the other four, four thirds. Finally. He says, <clears throat> I have to tell you something. And then, dun, 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 dun. It's never good when somebody says that. 
And he's like, well, I'm married. And I was like, okay. And he's like, but she had a lot of affairs. Mm -hmm. And then she had the surgery where you can't have sex for 16 to 18 months. And then she told me about the affairs. And in my mind, I was like, let's pause at the part where you said the surgery. The surgery. Like, like everybody knows about this magical this surgery. magic surgery. Where you can't have sex for 16 to 18 months, which is a weird time frame. You know what I mean? Like, where did he get 16 to 18? Because you know what I mean? Like, when you're like, oh, like, you've had surgery. It's like, so, you, you know, you might not be able to go upstairs for three to six months. Right. 16 to 18 months is a weird time frame to choose. Acting like they, and, and that was the thing about his lie. Then he just kept going. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, that's another thing sometimes people with lies do. They'll just sneak it in and then they just keep going. Like, it's not a thing. And I decided to let it go because I was like, that is the most fantastical lie I've heard, like, just on a grand scale, right? Um, now, somebody had said to me, what if the wife told him that lie? Um, mm -hmm. And it's not his lie. Here's how I know it's his lie. He said that she is a doctor. Right. Now, even if you were a doctor who thought you were married to a complete moron. Like a podiatrist. Maybe she's a podiatrist. <laughs> but regardless, if you were smart enough to be a doctor, right. I'm going to guess that you'd come up with a lie that could be Googled. Googleable, you know? yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, because I was going to say Googleable, but it's, it's very hard to do. But yeah, you get it. I get it. So it's either Googleable or gullible. Ooh. <laughs> either be Googleable or gullible. Anyway, go ahead. But yeah, so this that is one of the better lies I've heard in a while. Well, in terms of just magnitude. What if there are three doctor wives? <laughs> okay. okay. And each one is having had just has has just had Oh, wait, he said months, right? Uh-huh, months. Okay, so let's take three away. <laughs> Two doctor wives <laughs> okay. who are pregnant. Uh-huh. And What's that got to do with surgery? I'm just saying, I'm just trying to figure out those 18 <laughs> months. I'm really, I really am. I'm just like... <laughs> trying to help him out. Trying to help him out, even <laughs> though he's dust in the wind. Just, yeah. But so, I don't know. I mean, I don't know of any. If you guys know of any 16 to 18 month surgery which <laughs> makes your v a vagina inoperable, <laughs> will you please let us know? Um, I I just don't know. No. no. I feel that if, if she told him that lie, she didn't tell him that lie. She didn't he tell came him up, that lie. He came up with that story. Yeah. <laughs> or unless she was like, look, motherfucker, I'm a doctor, and I had this <laughs> surgery that I did myself, and I cannot have sex for 18 months. And I screwed around on you beforehand because I need a real dick. <laughs> right. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm not saying his dick's wrong, but I'm just, you know. Yeah. So anyways, anyway. do you have a, a big doozy? Of I have a gigantic lie. Yes. The one, really. It's the best lie I think has ever been told to me by a <laughs> mutual friend of ours. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> saying friend is a lie, but <laughs> a person that we both know. So this person told me mm -hmm. that we, I think you were involved, I don't know, a bunch of us were going to go to dinner together, yeah. and he didn't show up to go to dinner. Now, this is just a friend, so there's no like reason for lies yeah. really right? right you're not supposed to really lie to your friends you can tell them the truth or they're really not your friends that's part of the thing so he didn't go and then like showed up and i was like so why didn't you go to so and so i think it might have been my sister's birthday whatever somebody's birthday because i was like why didn't you go to so and so's birthday party so he said that his sister um who was one month pregnant uh-huh um had a sister something in something wrong in which they had to take the baby out. Uh -huh. Yeah. The one month baby unformed fetus, basically. Not even a fetus that's at that right. point. No, that's right. Like a little pod. Like there is. I don't know what you call it at that point. I think it's not even a pee at that point. Anyway, yeah. so the tiniest little <laughs> microbe cluster of atoms and neutrons and protons, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know if those tons all go together. Egg. Anyway. Yeah. Gets taken out of her body, mm -hmm. put in her lap. <laughs> Those were words. <laughs> I know it's so good every time. Go they ahead. did. They did this. They did the surgery, and then they put 
this one month old. <laughs> and when I say m- one month old, I meant one month conceived. Right, right. Not one month not had. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what you mean. So they take and put <laughs> this fertilized egg mm-hmm. back in her. <laughs> and she had this during dinner time. Of course. I mean, it so makes perfect sense that that's when they would do it. It was just this, this miraculous surgery, again. <laughs> yes. That <laughs> <laughs> the miracle of surgery. The miracle of surgery <laughs> and the unknowingness of gay men with childbirth, <laughs> I think, was at play here. And, I mean, maybe there are surgeries in which you can take out yeah. a one-month baby that's not abortion, but... <laughs> we don't know it. I'm, I'm not a doctor, but I'd like to date one. <laughs> and so you have another. Yes, I have my final lie. Final lie. Of the night. So. Is this your final lie? I was dating a young man. Ooh. Maybe not young. But anyways, dating a man. And uh, it was long distance. And he was saying how he had to, um, he had a six-month-old, six-month-old baby. Yes. And then. We were talking for quite a while. It was long distance, right? Uh, a couple of months go by, you know, over phone, blah, 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 text this, that, and the other. Um, then there was a heart condition. The baby had developed a heart condition. Okay. And um, inherited it from the mom. Oh, obviously. So they had to go to a special hospital where the parents stay, and they were going to do all these tests on the baby. Um, and they had to be there for a month. Okay. Good. Go team. Word up. Um, didn't ask questions because you know a baby can have you know and you it sounds reasonable mm-hmm. that if there's if they find a heart problem that you would go and do yeah, tests. Yeah, do tests. And and stuff. I don't know how long you're going to do it, but yeah, right. sure, that's fair. Call St. Jude. <laughs> Anyways, um, so blah blah blah. Baby's baby's in there, uh, you know, getting the tests and mm-hmm. they're hanging out. They're not together, but they're hanging out because um, they both have to be there. Word, go team. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> Then one day there's a Facebook post by this young man announcing the birth of his newest daughter. No. Oh. Who was the daughter that was supposed to be alive already? So the six month old baby uh-huh. was, was actually probably six months inside, inside of a of inside of a person. Right. Then a couple months go by, mm. baby's born a little bit early. Right. <laughs> so the baby was eight months, but right. internal. And um, then when I finally spoke to him, because, of course, he hid for a couple of days, right. as you will when you're a punk, uh, he said, I was like, so why would you, what the hell? Like, excuse me. T- uh, you know, yeah. like, as you would approach somebody. Right. <laughs> it's hard like, to text, though. He's like, well, no, we were on the phone at okay. that point. Because I'm like, uh. And he said, we had to tell everybody that lie. I even had to tell my parents this story because we didn't know if the baby was going to make it. And that's where I pause you because <laughs> the idea that if a baby wasn't going to make it, you say that the baby's already alive. Like if something really had happened and the baby hadn't made it, so then is it better to say that an alive baby is dead? Like we had this baby and she was eight months old and then she died. You know what I'm saying? Like, just d- didn't think that lie through. Just started saying whatever came to your mind. Yeah. All of it a lie. Yeah. Full of lies. That sounds like pussy lies, like lies you tell to get pussy. Uh, clearly, right? Yours is a house of lies, sir. <laughs> it's, and, the, and the, yeah. I mean, that's the thing, though. Like, in this day and age, like... You know, I didn't get your text. Oh, I can see that you read it at <laughs> blah, blah, blah time. <laughs> right. Or like, I'm sick, I'm staying in, but mm. there's full on pictures <laughs> on your Instagram yes. live feed of you partying it up. Like, yeah, there's just tell the truth, folks. <laughs> just start there. Just, just say, start there. Yeah, just start there. Like, say, hey. I don't want to hang out with you tonight. I'm going to go hang out with so and so. I don't see him that often. Don't even no. Don't even expand on it. Mm. Just say it. <laughs> tonight, I think I'm taking a break from you. I'm going to go hang out with somebody else. You're probably going to see pictures of us having fun, more fun than we normally would have with you. <laughs> don't do all of that. Now Bob's trying to get you in trouble. But I feel <laughs> stop it. That I'm if you were out there, else. you would ruin the fun. <laughs> we probably wouldn't take pictures. <laughs> okay. That, that, don't take any of Bob's advice. But just do tell the truth. 
a shorter version. <laughs> less, less information. That's not even a half truth. No. No, that's not even a half truth. No. That's just a real truth. Like, I'm going to hang out with somebody else tonight. Peace. <laughs> not even, you don't have to say yeah, peace. exactly. Okay. Because what you're doing is an overshare and just hurtful. Well, I feel that if someone lies to me, I'm going to hurt them, Joy. I hurt them so hard. I hurt them so hard that they cry, they cry. Oh, my God. Anyways. Anyway, just tell the truth. Please tell the truth. The please. shortest version of the truth. But if, I'm just going to leave you with this. Uh-oh. If you are going to lie, my God, at least look that, think that shit through. And at least make sure it's google Google. And remember that to be beautiful and natural is the birthright of every woman. And I wish you all loads and loads of loveliness and good luck.